Now for this question, we're told that we've got a point P that's on this curve, x equals 2 tan of y plus pi upon 12. And it's got a y coordinate of pi upon 4. And what we've got to do is find an equation of the normal to the curve at P. Now to appreciate a problem like this, not that you have to draw this, but uh, I'm just going to say sketch a graph. I'm not saying that this graph is the graph that we've got here, it's just to give us an idea. So suppose the curve looked like this, and we've got our point P on the curve here. We're told it's got a y coordinate of pi upon 4, so we'll leave the x coordinate out there and just put the y coordinate as pi upon 4. And we've got to find the equation then of the normal passing through this point P. Let's say it's that line there. That line will be perpendicular to the tangent at that point. And let's just suppose that that is the tangent at P. Now, we should know that the equation of a line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So that's basically going to be the form that I'm going to work towards for the equation of this line. Remember x1, y1 is a point on this line. We've already got y1, it's pi upon 4. We've yet to get the corresponding x1 value. And as for m, the gradient, well I'm going to find out the gradient of the tangent by differentiating this, okay? And then we're going to look at the perpendicular gradient as being minus the reciprocal of what the gradient of the tangent is at this particular point. Okay, well there's a brief outline of how I'm going to go about this problem. So, if you feel that's sufficient to kickstart you on this particular question, you might like to pause the video and then come back when ready and uh, see how I've approached it. Okay, well, I did say that the first thing that we need to do is find out the corresponding x coordinate here. So we're going to just say that when y equals pi upon 4, we can get that x coordinate just by substituting this into this equation. So therefore, we have x equals 2 multiplied by the tan of pi upon 4 plus pi upon 12. Okay, now pi upon 4 plus pi upon 12 is pi upon 3, a third pi. And if you work that out, you'll find you get ex the exact value 2 root 3. Okay, pi upon 3 is the equivalent of 60 degrees. And you should know that the tan of 60 degrees, or pi upon 3 radians, is root 3. So you get 2 root 3. Okay, so we've now got our corresponding x coordinate at this point here, 2 root 3. Let's just pop that in there. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze by the looks of it, but we'll just see if we can put that in there. 2 root 3, there you go. 2 root 3, and then pi upon 4. Right, okay, now we need to get the gradient at any point on this curve. And normally, we would have a curve given as y equals some function of x, but as you notice, it's back to front, so to speak. So we could get dx dy, and then reciprocate that and get dy dx. It'd be the easiest option here. So let's just say also dx dy. Okay, we're gonna to need to differentiate this equation with respect to y. Now, I'm assuming you're familiar with the chain rule here. To differentiate 2 tan of something like this, the differential of tan of anything is sec squared of that anything. And then we need to times it by the differential of this bracket. Okay? So, if we differentiate 2 tan of this, we're going to get 2 sec squared okay, of y plus pi upon 12. And then using the chain rule, we need to times it by the differential of what you see in the bracket, which is going to be 
1 if we differentiate this with respect to y. So that's the chain rule, okay? And if you want me to run through this, I'll do this for you at the end of the video. So when it comes to dy by dx, dy by dx is going to be the reciprocal of this. Just invert it. So it's going to be 1 over okay, 2 sec squared y plus 12, pi over 12. Okay, so we've got that. So when it comes to the gradient of the normal, remember that what you need to do is just negate this, put a minus sign, and reciprocate it. Turn it upside down if you like. So therefore we've got the gradient of the normal. We'll just write that in. Remember this is the gradient of the normal at any general point okay, on the uh, curve. It's going to be minus 2 sec squared y plus pi upon 12. Okay, so that's the general gradient of the normal. We need the gradient of this normal when y equals pi upon 4. So when y equals pi upon 4, that gradient, okay, gradient of the normal, let's just put gradient of normal. Okay, what's it going to equal? Well, it's going to be minus 2, and we should be familiar with the function sec. Sec is 1 over cos, so this is 2 over cos squared, okay, 2 over cos squared y plus pi upon 12. But remember y is pi upon 4, so I'm going to substitute pi upon 4 in there. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Now, pi upon 4 plus pi upon 12 is a third pi in radians, the equivalent of 60 degrees. The cosine of 60 degrees is a half. So if you square that, you're going to get a quarter. And then 2 divided by a quarter gives you 8. And you've got this minus here. So you should find you get minus 8. So that's the gradient then of our normal. And so when it comes to the equation of the normal, we can just put therefore the equation of the normal. Of the normal, let's say at p, okay, at p is, and what is it going to be? Well, it'll be y minus y1, y1 being pi upon 4, okay, equals the gradient minus 8 multiplied by x minus x1. And x1 we found was 2 root 3. Okay, so the question did say find an equation of the normal. It didn't ask us to put it in any particular form. So that particular form is quite acceptable. So there you go, our equation of our normal. Now I did say that I would run through at the end of the video how I got this particular result when I differentiated 2 tan of y plus pi upon 12 by the chain rule. So I'll show you how I did that okay and uh, here it is. So if we've got x equals 2 tan of y plus pi upon 12 and we've got to find dx by dy then essentially we've got to remember that by the chain rule, dx dy, uh, let's just write it over here, dx dy is going to be equal to dx by d something times the same d something by dy. And I'm going to use, say, dt as that d something. It's as if they cancel out, just leaving us with dx dy. So for this question, Okay, what I'm going to say is let x equal 2 tan t, where t equals y plus pi upon 12. So let t equal y plus pi upon 12. So we have therefore x equals 2 tan of t. 
So to get dx dy, we've got to find dx by dt first of all. So we've got dx by dt, okay, equals the differential of 2 tan t. Well, the differential of tan t with respect to t is sec squared t. So it's going to be 2 sec squared t. Okay? And when it comes to dt dy, this part here, dt dy is going to be equal to just simply 1. If you differentiate y with respect to y, you get 1. Differentiate pi upon 12 with respect to y, you get 0. So dt dy is 1. So that's why when I was writing this out, when I went dx dy is going to equal, I was thinking, well, I've got 2 tan of t. What's the differential of 2 tan t? Okay, It's going to be 2 sec squared t. And so instead of writing the t in, as just t, I wrote it in as y plus pi upon 12. And then I had to multiply it by the differential of the bracket, dt dy, which was the 1. Okay? So you can see the chain rule there. And so it comes out as 2 sec squared, just simply y plus pi upon 12. Alright? So I hope that's given you an idea then how I differentiated this particular part. Okay, we'll just return back now to the video. So there you go. I hope, uh, as I said earlier, that uh, you can see how I worked this out. All right.